Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I drive the engineering and design at the company, so it, that that's um, like relatively unusual, um, you know. But that's that's, I mean, that's I think a big part of why the companies succeed is because I I understand the engineering and um, I I know when somebody you know I, I, my judgment on whether somebody is great at engineering or design. Um, it's, it's quite good. Uh, so in terms of, of, of really having the most talented people, um, giving them the most respons responsibility, if, if, you, if you don't actually understand the engineering, then, then how do you know that somebody is a good engineer? Um, so th this is really important. Um, you know, we're, we're a very talented team, but, but in order to know that somebody's talented, you must also understand the uh, engineering. So 100 tons to use full orbit with full reusability means that the cost per ton to orbit is, I don't know, maybe about 100 times less than it has been in the past. Um, and th th this is what w would enable uh, life to extend beyond Earth and, and to, to build a self-sustaining city on Mars, which would maximize the probable lifespan of consciousness um, by, I don't know, many millennia, if not millions of years. I'm going to pass it over to Kelvin. The, the overwhelmingly important thing is, is achieving un, unsupervised full self-driving. And um, as I mentioned publicly, we've increased the number of parameters by a factor of five. Um, now, this, one can't simply increase parameters. <laughs> one does not simply increase parameters. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we'll, we'll see rap, continued rapid improvements each passing week. Right, well, I mean, you, you can think of the, the Tesla cars as essentially robots on four wheels. Um, so if you, if you take a Model 3 or Model Y, I mean, it, it's a good looking car, but it, it doesn't look like it has like super intelligence. You know, it, it, looks, <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a, it's a good looking electric car. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's like, I, and I, I mean, I use the analogy, like, let's say you had a cat and it looks like a normal cat, but actually your cat can talk. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? A fucking cat? And jump up and, and, and do like a hat and cane dance and do like a musical. Actually, like, like, let's say you, you, let's say you had a sentient cat that could talk, and and do and and, do, and sing and dance. But but people look at the cat on the couch and 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 the cat. Uh, well, it just looks like a normal cat, you know. Blink, motherfucker. Until it jumps up and does a song and dance, and it's like, whoa, whoa, like, wow, what was what was that? Um, so. So that, that's the thing with the, the self-driving is that, yeah, sure, the Model 3 Y, they're good looking, normal looking cars, uh, except uh, ours can basically sing and dance. Um, and <laughs> it's intelligent and can drive from one place to another. So, um, so it's just, just demonstrating that to people kind of blows their mind. 
in, in the actual event itself, will people, how many people will realize how profound it is, what we're going to show? Uh, I think uh, some people will understand how profound, not everyone will, but it will be obvious in hindsight. You can, it's really, the, the car just becomes like a tiny mobile lounge. Um, that's, that's what, or you could sleep, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I mean, you could drink too, I mean, you're not driving, right? so <laughs> um, it's not something that you have to be, um, we have to be, you know, focus your attention on driving all the time. So it's just a, it's a completely different experience. Um, Ma, no, 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 here we come, Ma, Ma, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Really, most of the um, R&D effort is in, is in improving the uh, cost per uh, one hour. Per, per kilowatt hour. So the, 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 the cost of range, improve, like how do you get, improve the cost of the battery pack in order to make the cars more affordable? Uh, we're making good progress in the Tesla design cell, which is a, a design manufacturer cell, uh, which is, a, this is a hard problem. I mean, there are entire companies that that's all they do. Um, but uh, the rate of progress is good. Yeah, but overall, th I feel like things are progressing at a good rate. And Optimus is an intelligent robot with arms and legs. So, the, you know, in the case of um, in, in, in the case of Optimus, uh, we we have to design uh, every part of the robot from scratch. Um, you really get to learn a lot about how the human body works, and you realize there's a reason why we we evolved this way. Um, you know, there's a reason why the the the, the the muscles that operate your hand are actually located in your forearm, um, because you, you actually you, you and, and so you're, you know, if you, if you look at your sort of hand, it's sort of like it's like it's really it's like a puppet basically, um, and and the puppet strings are in your forearm, <laughs> and and the so, um, I mean there there are a small number of muscles that are actually in the hand, but most of the muscles that that operate your hand are in your forearm. Um, so with, with the current version of Optimus, we, we ha actually have the actuators in the hand, but with the new version that we're moving to later this year, the, the actuators are in the forearm um, and uh, really emulating how a human hand works. So um, there are no actuators for, that actually, that you can buy for really any, any amount of money um, that work well for a humanoid robot. So we have to go, go back to physics first principles and design all of the actuators from scratch. Um, so it's a tremendous amount of work. And I think it'd be very difficult for any, any company that does not have, um, that's not extremely good at designing actuators to, to make a, an effective humanoid robot. Um, and then the, it's, it's, it'll have the same like brain as the car. And then just as the car is, the car is learning how to navigate reality, it's, it's the same basic process for the humanoid robot. Yeah, but, 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 you know, it's, I, I think it's kind of like people will get pretty attached to their humanoid robots, just like people, you know, you get attached to C3PO and R2D2. Um, so I think everyone's going to want one. Um, so there's 8 billion people on Earth, and I think they're all going to want one. Uh, <laughs> so that's why, that's why I think it's probably going to be the biggest thing ever. The, the, the Roadster is, uh, you know, one of those things that's not, like necessary from a utility standpoint, but it's super cool. Um, so, um, you know, I guess a friend of mine, Peter, Peter Thiel is like, you know, he would say, it's like, why, why don't we have flying cars? And I'm like, wait for it. <laughs> it's coming. So I think it'll be super cool. <laughs> Is it changed the world? I don't know, but I think like sometimes you just gotta have things that are just cool because that's it's just it's just great to have awesome awesome you know things in the world. <laughs> so it, it's kind of cherry on the cake, um, and um, I think the Roadster demo will be mind blowing. I it might be the most it might be the most mind blowing demo of anything ever. Wow. So quick Crazy. Ktoré SpaceX používa na korekciu letu rakety? V 
veľkej ako panelák. Vieš, čo to spraví s autom? Hey, next year. Next year sometime. Yeah, it'll be something special and um yeah, we'll continue to make, you know, new products that we haven't talked about at all. So, um there's a uh, yeah, there's there's new things that'll 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 come out. Um But the, the, the really ultra profound thing is full self-driving. Unsu is unsupervised full self-driving. That's like the gigantic thing. Um and then uh, Optimus having an autonomous useful humanoid robot uh is an even bigger thing than full self-driving. But those are the two things that like if you were to look back in history from you know fast forward like 20, 30 years or 50 years even, like what are the things that really were profound? It'll be um unsupervised a general solution to unsupervised full self-driving um and a humanoid robot that is uh, truly useful. Um even 50, 100 years from now they'll be like, "Whoa, those are big ones." Well, I love retail investors, I have to say. Um <laughs> um because uh Yeah, you know, I think retail investors like or, or like individual investors are like they're they're like making a decision to uh, support the company and um and that's super appreciated. Um and and I you know like there's going to be sort of ups and downs in the stock price for you know random reasons. Um but I I do feel confident that the long-term uh value of the company will be extremely high. Now, I'm not sure what the average usage would be, but average use my, usage in autonomous mode might be 50 hours, but certainly it could be used 100 hours of 168 hours a week. So that would be a 10x increase in the productivity of the car. But, but it, it costs the same. So if you just do the basic math on that, it's like, okay, now you go from like, I don't know, 20, 25% uh, margins to 90% margins. It's insane. So uh, yeah, I just it just but if you just think of asset utilization efficiency um and you go from 10 hours a week of a car to 50 or 100 hours a week and it's the same car that's just it's it's the biggest explosion in value um maybe ever. Wow! Ah! What the fuck? The, the optimist numbers are like they're really just they're like so mind blowing that you're like is this is this real uh, it, but because i i actually think the market for humanoid robots is in excess of 10 billion units like more more than the number of humans um because people will each want one and then there'll be others that are involved in industry and stuff so uh these things are like I said they're they're so profound that they will be recognized you assuming we do them uh we have to actually do them um they will be recognized a hundred years from now maybe a thousand years from now as uh as fundamental milestones in civilization that's that's the level of significance we're talking about here so